tell you what happened to Sarah. When she took matters in her own hand, we ended up today with an Ishmael. That today, even today, we are suffering the sins of Ishmael. When there was only supposed to be an Isaac, we are suffering because of Ishmael. Hallelujah. And if you appoint yourself deputy assistant God and try to help God find yourself a partner, you will end up with an Ishmael husband. You will end up with an Ishmael wife. You will end up with somebody who is supposed to protect you and supposed to love you more than Jesus loved the church. And that somebody is giving you a five-fold ministry. Hello. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? God doesn't need any help looking for a partner. If he can take a Zambian pastor and a woman from Trinidad and Tobago man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. If he can go find a woman from Trinidad, man. Or a man from Zambia, Murshani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And cause them to meet in the United States. What makes you think he can't find you? Hallelujah. And, and, and here's the thing. When you are looking for that man or that wife, in fact, you have limited yourself to Zimbabwe. Or maybe you've limited yourself to Maronde, or, or to Gweru, or to Weza, or to Chichitu, Chichitu Gweza. Anointing is 
reserved for the available. It's reserved for the obedient. It's reserved for the risk takers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't allow anybody to despise you because of your youth. And don't allow anybody to despise you because of your single status. God has a purpose for you. Paul, the man who wrote most of the New Testament. Hallelujah. A single man. A man who was not married. But a man who was focused. A man who knew he was called to run a race. I want to challenge you today. You have been called to run a race. That race is not just qualified for the married. It doesn't say race for the married only. Hallelujah. The race is for the anointed. The race is for the born again. The race is for the Bible believing. The race is for the devil chasing. Hallelujah. Anointed child of God.
Hallelujah. I said enjoy your singleness. Yes. Understand that singleness is not a curse. Yes. Understand that it is not a limitation. Yes. Forget about the things that people are saying. Forget about the Tobias and the Zambalas. The people who are calling you on the hip -hop. You see the problem is that they have been limited. They don't understand God's calling them on life. They don't understand your mandate. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to tell you that if you want to be catapulted in the things of God, yes. it will take a, a yes. spirit of thanksgiving. Oh. That person who understands that they are complete. Yeah. That person who understands that they are called by God. Yes. That person who understands that they've been given a focus and a target yes. by God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. And you need to begin to start to thank God. Yeah. There's some of you here who have despised your singleness. Some of you who have been worried, and God spoke to me actually right now, that he says I need to lay hands on some of you. There needs to be a renewing of the mind. A renewing of the mind that you can really, truly begin to see what God has called you in today. That the potential that is within you at this moment can be stirred up today as never before and can be released in the name of Jesus. That even as you walk out of here, Yes. You'll begin to walk with a different walk. Hallelujah. And you're 